Hello, we're going to uh, talk about a longitudinal wave. We're going to use two graphs to uh, analyze it. The top graph is a plot of the pressure along the wave. I'm plotting pressure along this vertical axis, and I'm plotting it against distance along the horizontal axis. I'm going to show about two and a half meters of length of wave here. Down here I'm showing the same thing except I'm using symbols and I'm plotting it along the distance of the wave. The red squares in, are corresponding to the peaks in pressure, the blue diamonds corresponding to minima in pressure. The peak in pressure would be a compression point and the minimum in pressure would be a rarefication. So we have points of compression and rarefication alternating. As this wave propagates, this point of compression will move to the right. This red square will move to the right, and it will move to the right at the speed of sound, which is 343 meters per second. The uh, frequency of the wave is 440 hertz. Its period is 2.27 milliseconds and the wavelength is 0.77 meters. We start out here, we start out at this point, and we move across until it repeats, which is about 0.77 meters away. We're going to use the lines here to denote a pressure point or a compression point and watch it propagate across the screen. So here we go. Here is where the pressure point started. Now it's moving across. You can see time is evolving here. Down here you can watch the compression point moving. You can watch the rarefication point moving. So the collision of the molecules are allowing this pressure point and these compression points to move across the length of the wave. So uh, the peak is over here now. The peak that started over here has moved over to here. It's moved about 1.7 meters. From here to here is about 1.7 meters. And it took about 5 milliseconds to do that. Let's repeat the experiment with a wave that's got a higher frequency. Now the frequency is 660 hertz. The period of the wave is 1.51 milliseconds instead of 2.27 milliseconds speed of sound is the same. The wavelength is now shorter. It's 0.51 mil meters. Start over here and move across and here's 0.51 meters. So this is a higher frequency wave. We will start again by denoting the location of this compression point and it's watching it move across. Here you can see the point of compression moving. Here's the point of rarefication moving across. And it's moving along the axis of propagation. Okay, we let it run for about five milliseconds. The peak that started over here has now moved to over here. 1.7 meters away, five milliseconds later. So the second wave had a higher frequency but it propagated at the same speed, the speed of sound. Thanks for listening and watching.